Okay, this is going to be my last uh, book review uh, video to go along with a couple other ones I did. This is probably going to be a little bit more obscure, so I'm going to have to move quick. There's 14 of these. Uh, this is going to be Eric Les Bader's uh, Asian martial arts uh, books, some of which are sequels to each other and have the same characters, some of them don't. Uh, basically, what you're dealing with Les Bader is imagine, you know, espionage, um, martial arts, a lot of martial arts. Uh, even getting into the mystical part of martial arts, a lot of travel, although a lot of it's in Asia, and very, very graphic sex. Uh, they're very, very good books. Um, they were written between 1980 and 1996, I think. Um, the, his his uh, enduring character is a guy named Nicholas Linear, and, uh, and six of the novels are linear novels. And uh, I'm going to go through these. Now, it's been a few years since I read this, so there may be some mistakes, but this is just a general synopsis. I, I recommend these if you're into uh, martial arts and, and spy stuff, so on course. Now the first one is The Ninja. It is a linear novel. Um, it's set primarily in Japan. Um, this is the only one that I've seen. It's got its own Wikipedia page, and they've also even talked about making a movie about it. Um, his books are kind of uh, neat. Has they'll go back, you know, 30, 40 years, uh, and talk uh, and develop characters, and then they'll jump forward to where those characters are at later. And it's pretty pretty neat. A lot of it has to do with the rebuilding of Japan after World War II. And basically, the, the villain, what you got is these guys that are, are practicing black arts, you know, uh, ninja stuff when they're not supposed to be because, of course, MacArthur banned all martial arts. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a very good book. It's one of the better ones. Uh, the second one um, is probably one of my favorites. It's Black Heart. Um, it's not a linear book, uh, although the, kid, the, lead, the, the hero is a guy named Richter, I think is his name. And um, very similar. This most of this book, I think it was written in 1983, um, is in Cambodia. It's about the Khmer Rouge, which is very interesting along those lines. It may be my favorite one. It's very good. It jumps all over the Far East, although primarily the story centers in uh, in Cambodia. You know, back during the Vietnam era and up to the present day, um, and a lot of the main characters are, are Cambodian. Um, the third one here uh, is was the Miko, the Maiko, however you pronounce that. Uh, that is the second linear novel, um, primarily in Japan. It's basically a lot like uh, the Ninja. Um, a lot of a lot of Russians in this too. There's all the Russians are, are very well represented, and there's quite a bit of the uh, the locations in the books where we're in the I guess it'd be the Soviet Union at the time. Um, the fourth one was uh, uh, Gian or John J I A N. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Um, it's the first of the two Jake Merrock novels. And Jake Merrock, again, it's a character kind of like Linear and the Richter guy from Blackheart. These are more geared toward China. And uh, you're going back into like, you know, when Mao was first forming up the communist cadres back in the 30s. And then it goes up to the present day. A lot, a lot in Shanghai and Hong Kong, uh, from what I can remember. And spread over the story, kind of spread over like 70 years. And then the direct sequel to that was Shan. And that is also... Um, the Jake Merrock novel. Those are the only two novels uh, featuring him. Again, all both of those are in China. It's hard to. Di it seems I think that second one. There's, there's stuff in Australia. Quite a bit of stuff in Australia uh, as well. Um, French Kiss is, as you might think, a lot of there's. It's some of it's in France, and I'm I'm thinking into China, the former French Indochina, um, Vietnam, Cambodia. I, I think I could be could be wrong on that. Same type of stuff. You know, a lot of lot of lot of martial arts. Um, travel, espionage type stuff. Um, Zero, and I think that you're up to about 1988 now um, when you wrote this. Uh, Michael Doss is the uh, American hero in this one. Uh, this is almost all in Hawaii, actually. And uh, similar similar to the other books. Um, White Ninja is your back to the Nicholas Linear. I think this is the, the third linear novel. Um, you're really getting into some really nasty villains by this point. I mean, almost, almost to the point, almost like supernatural type stuff. And uh, maybe get a little carried away with that. But uh, all in Japan, you know. And I, I remember particularly this this character, uh, the guy in White Ninja, is a really vile villain. Um, Angel Eyes. Th this is not a linear novel. Um, this is quite a bit different than, than the other ones. It, some of it's uh, written in it was, this locations in Argentina. 
and I get a lot in Russia, and there's some pretty neat stuff they get into in this. It's, it's a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, even the stuff about the Russian space program and stuff, if I remember, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, again, uh, Black Blade is a novel. A lot of this is in Japan uh, as well. Uh, the guy is, uh, his name is Wolf Matheson. He is the, the, the guy, there's quite a bit of it in New York too. Um, again, I, I'm thinking there's quite a bit of stuff like te technological stuff in this. Technological espionage and stuff like that. It's been a while since I've read it, um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I can remember more than I. Uh, um, and now the last two are the last two linear novels. Um, sorry about that. Floating City um, is about all of it's in Vietnam, and it's uh, the Floating City is the name of a of an, of an empire, drug empire, a criminal empire of some type that you know linear's got to infiltrate. Um, and then the Kai show, and it didn't come in a color, real colorful jacket. Um, that's linear again. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a linear. Uh, again, some Vietnamese uh, uh, bad guys in this one. And uh, I know there's, there's some of it's in Venice, Italy. And uh, I think in these last two, this one and then the, the next one after this, there's a, quite a bit about the American mob, the American mafias. You know, and get their fingers and stuff, and are, and are, are the bad guys. And then the last book um, is Second Skin, and it's direct, uh, the sixth of the Nicholas Linear novels. And uh, in fact, the last three, I guess, that I went over here were the Linear novels, and along with uh, uh, White Ninja, uh, the Ninja, and the Miko, or the Mako, however you pronounce that. So uh, that's quick uh, review of it. Um, I, you know. I think it's really, really good reading. Uh, the Black Heart was fantastic. Um, if you're into martial arts, written stories written very well. Um, if you're into spy stuff, if you're into travel, especially, I mean, the, the books are pretty well researched. Um, although about most of it is in far, far East. In fact, Linear almost exclusively operates out of Japan in these novels, um, in Hong Kong, you know, in, in, in a couple other areas. So, uh, anybody's got any questions? I did. Re I have read all of them. Um, go ahead and feel free to post, and I'll uh, see you guys later.